But Joe says, Joey Carberry was playing, albeit out of position, most of the time for the best team in Europe. He was rightly being lauded as the future international 10 and he let his impatience and possibly ego get the better of him by moving to a rival club who have tended to be on the wrong end of results against his own team. He also left behind possibly the best coaching and development structure in Europe and the opportunity to continue learning off the best player in the world who also plays in his position. Within a few months, he has ended up on a higher wage and longer contract. So he got that aspect right, I suppose. If you ask me, Neymar should never have left Barcelona for PSG. A lot of soccer analogies on this week's show. Usually I'm the one guilty of them. (laughs) Um, Firstly... Uh, thanks very much for your email, Joe, and to everybody who's emailed in throughout the season as well. We do enjoy a good long email. Probably a bit harsh to uh, label Joey egotistical, considering he was borderline in tears when he was basically ordered to move to Munster uh, to begin with. I know he's he's pretty happy down there now. Um, how do you assess the move overall? Firstly, Andy, maybe just based on his first season in red. Um, a, a brilliant move, I would say, from absolutely the right. So I couldn't agree disagree more with Joe O'Doherty. Um he was brave. He no I don't buy into, you know, biding your time and learning off, you know, the world player of the year. You <clears throat> he'll have learned plenty from Johnny by assim, assimilation, absorption, just just being around him and he'll probably have learned most about, you know, professionalism, work ethic, being a being a hard driven mentally strong player but you learn zero about execution on the field under pressure by watching Johnny none you don't I don't care how good you are in terms of observation there's no such thing in sport as learning the skills by watching you just learn the skills by practicing the skills yourself and you learn them better by practicing them under pressure and you don't you get 10 minutes every three months at 10 with aspirations to be an international ten, forget it. You have no hope. And he was in the, he was dangerously close to the Austin Healy model of being a half in between player. And you know, we'll throw him in. Sure, Jesus, he can go twelve or thirteen as well. He's all the skills. Like, forget it. He's too good in a rugby player uh, to do that. So I think he was. I'm sure it pissed off Leinster no end because you know they brought him through. In a way, they were they feel victimized by their own success and their own production line, but that's life. They, you know, um, he was dead right, and I think he's little things that have happened over the course of the season, such as a couple of missed kicks away in Castro in the European Cup, and then going and getting whatever a streak of twenty five kicks in a row. You can't get that watching Johnny Sexton, you know. So he uh, he was dead right. I don't believe there was any ego involved. I think there was a desire to play in the position he wants to play. And uh, yeah, I think Joe O'Doherty is bang wrong there. 